Longfellow, Melville, Welcome. Emerson. Sorry I'm late to the picnic, guys. That's okay. Have a seat. Do you have some pears? Yep. <laughs> I gathered everyone here today to talk about our riding styles. But mostly yours, Nathaniel, because you are my favorite. Thank you. I've written many things in my ears. <laughs> yes, you have. So Hawthorne, tell us more about your life. Well, I was born July 4th, 1804 in Salem, Massachusetts. My childhood was sad because my father died when I was four because he was lost at sea. But I was well liked through, through school and <laughs> college. And oh yeah! With me at Bowdoin College. Yay. Cowish. <laughs> oh, and then after college, you devoted yourself to writing. Remember those 12 dark years? From ages 21 to 23, you secluded yourself from the world and dedicated and explored human isolation. I remember you wrote the same, I remember this because you wrote the same, in the same exact room as me six years earlier. Oh yes, Hawthorne, I remember when I first became a writer, you were my mentor, and I looked up to you so much. Um, I Later in life, I dedicated my first novel, Let Me Dick, to you. <laughs> I remember the first day we met. It was August 5th in 1850 at a picnic, just like this one. Oh, thanks, Melville. You've been a great friend my entire life. Why did you look up to me so much? Well, I just really love how all your books are based on morals. Don't forget mm. the great use of symbolism and ambiguity. I loved your book, The Scarlet Letter. It was amazing. Behold the adulterate! No, not the rock! Not the rock! I'm glad you guys have enjoyed my writing. I remember once there was this one book I wrote, and I hated it. I was ashamed of it that I burned the extra copies. <laughs> that book. I mean, I bought it. <laughs> well, we liked your books a lot. I mean, my favorite was The House of Seven Gables. Marble Fawn! <laughs> I really like Twice Told Tales. I mean, it took you 12 years to write. intellectual gold did not provide food for his family. He did not have confidence in intellectuals and artists. <laughs>